I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. I heard you letting Sir bully you out of battles. Come on, we all know the truth. The real JC walked on water. How the hell you letting the wave walk all over you? I saw Rump A. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Uh, you know, he'll be back in a day or so. You know, it's Father's Day weekend. You know, the family, the family. So um, I'm going to get into um, pretty much this ultimate madness one-offs. I'll talk about who I felt like won which battles, you know what I'm saying? The reasons why, maybe a bar or two. Nothing too, too, too crazy. I'm just, um, you know, we moving, we moving, maybe do this about 15, 20 minutes max so I can get y'all on about y'all day. Um, so you had some battles and salute to URL for even putting battles together during this weekend, you know what I'm saying? Because it is Father's Day weekend. Salute to all the fathers out there. In advance, salute to every single one of y'all out there holding down y'all families, y'all kids. But you know, we need to get into what we get into. So, the first battle of the night was Don Marino versus Big Hand. Don Marino comes into this battle. Uh, a lot of people was feeling like, you know, he 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 had to step it up and do something different because what came off of the um, original battle in the tournament, people feeling like Don Marino let him down. He bursted a lot of brackets, and then you had Big Hand coming off a battle where a lot of people felt like he got jerked. Um, in this battle, very, very cool battle. Nice way to start off a night. Uh, Don Marino's first round was straight. Uh, Big Hand's first round was dope. Uh, the way this battle kind of went to me, it's like a 2-1-ish. Uh, I got Don Marino. T takes the third. Don takes the third. He starts going off. Uh, he starts using, like, he used, like, powerful, powerful angles in the third. He was wigging. I ain't gonna lie. His third round, he definitely, uh... He was bugging. I ain't gonna hold you. He was bugging. Um, I felt like Big Hand took the first. Second could be a toss-up. Third round, Don Marino got it. Uh, so you, it's, it's a real debatable battle. Overall, it's gonna be debated. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's, it's one of those things. Niggas is gonna debate it. I'm gonna just be honest. Like that's just what it is. Um, there'll be some people who gave the battle the, the, the lie. I seen on the votes and shit. A lot of people was giving the battle to Big Hand. Uh, there were some people giving the battle to Don Marino, too. So it all depends on how that second kind of goes for you. You know what I mean? Like, just to be honest with you. Um, cool battle overall. You know what I'm saying? I got no qualms with it. I, I definitely like uh, what, what, what Big Hand. Big Hand? Big Hand was stepping his shit up, though. Because to me, it don't even really be about, like, the, the action. It be like who's elevating, who's stepping their shit up, like, Crazy. Don Marino third. If he come with thirds like that every battle, like, that's the thing with Don Marino. It'd be the consistency. Like, the flow, it has to be more consistent. Um, but in the third, he 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 was he was definitely wigging the fuck out. So, we're going we gonna to put that one down. Um, very debatable battle, but overall cool. Next battle um, was supposed to be, I don't know if, um, well, they announced that New Jersey twerk. And um, Swamp was being pushed to the next week or whatever the case. There's a lot of people online saying, you know, Twerk probably writing this shit in the parking lot. He ain't ready. Whoop -de -whoop, whatever the case may be. I seen Swamp on the live earlier, though. So Swamp was definitely there and definitely ready. And he was like, I don't give a fuck. What he show up in? I'm ready to go. Swamp was so ready and so focused. And I think this is the second time this battle got pushed back. Well, the first time it was because of the Rona shit. And this is the second time right here. So hopefully he have three rounds. We're just going to keep him moving. Nasty, but uh, so with the next battle that they got into, and I kind of like this because uh, the bad news and J. Krug, I think that got pushed back, pushed away too. But the next battle that happened was J. C. versus Loso. Nigga, what? When you start rapping like that, salute to my boy Showtime SP. Oh man, get your mans, get your mans. Uh, J. C. J. C. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, J. C. They found J. C. Um. Interesting as it may be, um, JC comes into this battle where a lot of people was, you know, on his on his on his brake lights for not showing up to the other joint, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, a lot of people was talking on social media, whatever the case may be, people was making their own assumptions. Where is 
Where's JC? Where's JC? JC, are you okay? Are you okay, JC? But he showed up, and um, I'm going to just make a long story. You know what? No, no, no. We're going to we... take this walk with me. You know what I'm saying? Take it with me. Uh, JC comes out his first round. He said, they knew I was never coming. He said, and then he had another bar. I've been on the edge since he's seen what I did to his Christian brother. Then he had another line. God forbid you hit someone with an imaginary gun. You're going to have to do imaginary life. Talking about Losa with the imaginary gun bars and things like that. Uh, he said, and then like further in his round, I performed with the nine on stage, Wu-Tang. I thought that was a cool line. I got some notes. I got some notes. You know what I'm saying? I got them. Don't get, you know, y'all know my body. You know what I do. You know what I do. Um, then he had another bar towards the end of the round. He said, while they was reaching for the shit Twerk did to Norms, we all know he did that shit to himself. Uh, he ended off his round pretty cool, but it was beatable. It was beatable, and that's the thing. Loso had his outfit, his sneakers, his his jersey, everything. It's like the first day of school because Loso had been taking a lot of flack. Even regardless of when he went battles at night, niggas be saying, yo, that Briz, Briz, Briz. That's all people keep talking about. So Loso definitely needed a body, a battle, a fire performance against a top level guy. JC done been on Summer Madness. This nigga done been on Gnome. He's definitely a, a, a top tier guy that uh, people wanted to see him against. So Loso comes out in his first round and nigga, he starts snapping. When you start rapping like that, he comes out the gate. Tells this nigga, Jay, the real JC walked on water. How you letting the wave walk all over you? Talking about Surf had him backing out of battles. Because when Surf put the tweet out, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to manage you. We're not going to have you taking these bad battles. He addressed the fact that you said you was only going to battle Verb, uh, Clips, uh, him, and Lux. And he's like, well, and Loso on this app. He started talking about him. He said, uh... He said, I'm hanging for my goals like Shaq shoes. He said, I could push the envelope, but that'd be bad news. Talking about Ace, I mean, push the envelope and shit like that. That was fire. That was fire. And then he started talking about JC backing out of battles versus all these younger guys and people that he be taking these deposits from and backing out and shit like that. He said, I'm really stunk. And JC stands for just cancel. I was like, oh my God. So then he goes further into his round. He said, he was talking about Lux. He said, Lux would never back out on a small league battle. Cause he wouldn't have took one in the first place. I said, oh no, Loso is wilding on this man. I had Loso winning clearly 1-0 after the first round. Um, second round, JC comes out his second round. You told XL you serve a god that could replace a decapitated head. I ain't seen that yet. I liked it. Worst thing you could see in 2020 vision is yourself in it. That was cool too. Wrap the ratchet in cloth like she got her hair done and she about to go swimming. He had some bars, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, if Loso wouldn't have been on 10. He might have had a round or so that was stealable. But this nigga, Loso, like I said, he had his clothes out, ready to go the night before. His shit was folded. His shit was print. He was ready. He comes out in his second round. This nigga says, uh, he said, he was talking about the Christian gun bars. A Christian bowing to JC shouldn't be nothing new. Then he said, you don't deserve the semis like Rubando. Like, you don't deserve the semis. But even though Rubando's in the semis, he's going to win the whole thing. But he said, he don't deserve the semis like Rubando. I thought that was a fire line. Then he put some new bars in there. This nigga came back with some new bars. You would have thought, a lot of people would thought he would have just used his old rounds. He said, plus this won't be the first time a no-name got the culture canceling Jay. Oh, he's talking about the no name with the J. Cole. I thought that was crazy. Uh, he said, we're going to criticize the flow, but you never follow through. He said, we're going to criticize the form because you never follow through. I'm actually right-handed. So you criticize the form because you never follow through. He's talking about JC not following through with his battles and shit like that. I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact you looking real sick. Oh, JC, this nigga is in his bag. He's cooking in Brooklyn. I ain't going to hold you. He's cooking Brooklyn. He's cooking. After the second round, I had JC. I had um, Loso up 2-0. Uh, then JC comes out in his third round. He said, uh, how they gonna get six pallbearers out of three horsemen? Talking about killing A Ward. And he said, uh, I'm not trying to see if your men are fish you. I'm trying to see if your men will fish you. You know, men are fish. I'm trying to see if your men are fish you. Uh, he said, how you dealing with the fact that these bars like boom, ain't no telling in that. How you dealing with the fact it's like boom, ain't no telling in that. How the boom bars never get old. Um, JC had a serviceable third round. Loso's third round, this, yo, this brother leaves earth. 
Get your, for my man Showtime SP, we're going to go over it more in depth. Get your mans with, for my guy. Um, yeah, he said, I kept the file, so let's not get carried away. Let's see if, uh, let's see if he actually kept the files. He said, he said, he said he kept the files, so let's not get carried away. Uh, he was talking about, uh, he had a phenomenal angle. He had a phenomenal angle in his third round. Uh, this post comes from... March 23rd, 2017, he said, when I'm asked to do a feature, I get back the same day or the next. So don't hit me up for one unless you're completely ready. So Loso, Carlos Bedoya, sends him a thing. What's up, bro? How much for a feature? JC said, $200. If you want, I'll do it today for $150 and write it down. Loso, sends the, Loso says that, okay, right, the beat should be first. So he also sends, he pays the money, sends him the money for the feature. The money sent, let's get it. JC says, good, I'll book the session immediately. No worry about tomorrow, I'm writing now. Uh, Loso hits him back. Uh, no, JC hits Loso back. Uh, my engineer is also a DJ. He's still out of town. The verse is done at the studio. Uh, you will love the verse. Loso said, for sure, thanks for the update. Loso emails him again a couple days later. What's the update? JC says, I'm at the studio. You'll have it before the night is done. Storm caused the powder outage. Where's the studio guy lives? About a week or two later, Loso, um, Loso sends um, JC another. This is from 2014, actually. But JC put that joint up at 17. He, he sends up another question. Question mark, question mark, question mark. JC responds, all is done. As soon as I get back to the computer, I'm sending it to you. It's a regular version, then the track has an audio file. Jay Loso sends him the joint. Just pay the money back. Sends him for the money back a couple weeks later. Uh, so then Loso writes him again a couple more days later. So you're just going to take the money. Then he writes him again. Okay. And then Loso writes him again at the end of the month saying when... So Loso got Zoe for a verse, basically. He, he paid JC to do a verse and JC uh, got the money and never sent the verse. So he paid him for the verse and never got the verse, which is very, very nasty. Um, so he comes out in this third round with the whole angle about the verse. Uh, I kept the file, so let's not get carried away. Uh, one more feature we need to speak about. And then he said, as soon as JC took my bread, I knew it was something fishy about it. Talking about the bread and fish, talking about JC took my bread. It'd be something fishy about it. Uh, JC didn't have one verse for me. Talking about JC didn't have a verse for him. Uh, you did all of that for a buck fifty. I didn't know you wasn't cut like that. Oh my God. I didn't know you wasn't cut like that. He's, he's, he's <laughs> Loso won this battle pretty clearly. Some people will say 2-1, I'm saying 3-0. Loso got every round of this battle, dog. I'm just saying, motherfucker Loso cleaned up. He cleaned, now that's, when you start rapping like that, that's the way you need to keep rapping. He was going crazy. Loso went crazy. And I love the fact that in the Horsemen, they're all competing to try to be the best. Saga, is at another level. A Ward is at another level. Loso's left. <laughs> These guys are problems. They're problems. Loso's best three round performance to me, one of his best, his best three round performance on URL, clearly. The Scotty shit, that was cool, but it was a lot of, a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of reaction and shit. This small room, Loso, his volume, his uh, everything, his cadence, his angles, JC, he like, like, he lined you up. JC, I know you what didn't take the battle, nigga. You should have kept on going. You probably should have took this shit. Because he, he, he went kind of crazy on you. I'm not going to hold you. Um, last but not least, you got Rum Nitty versus Cortez. Uh, Rum Nitty versus Cortez was a battle that I personally felt like Rum Nitty was going to win going into it. I'll just let y'all know that. I felt like he needed a performance that was, that showed what he could still do after the B-Dot battle. Because, um, he had been on a streak of battles where he was doing good, he was doing all right, but we wasn't getting that prime time rum nitty that we used to. Like, we needed that. We needed you wallet. And in this battle, the nigga went crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, the rum nitty comes out in his first. I'm literally wreaking havoc. 
Uh, he said, switch sides on court. It's halftime. He had a Zion Williamson busting out the shoe bar. Heard a couple of them, but so what? It's rum that he's going to punch, right? He's going to punch. You're going to get so much smoke, the crowd screaming, get off the ropes. Um, he said, the lesbian, your lesbian will get stretched, walk up, see Fitbit everywhere you step. See the Fitbit? Because the Fitbit is everywhere you step. You know what I'm saying? So it's everywhere you step. You see the Fitbit everywhere you step. I thought that was fucking fire. Um, he said, uh, he has skull crack. Uh, can we get a view on tide of his head, the broadcast, the 2K, you know, you get the 2K to fit, you get the view inside of his skull, the broadcast. I thought that was fire. Uh, he said, on the set, I'ma die with the crows, Brandon Lee. Rum Nitty is punching throughout his first round. This nigga's punching. Like, he's punching, like, punching, like we know him to do. Um, Cortez comes out his first round. Uh, he, he's going off. Uh, keep these two sticks together. The only thing doctors can't keep together is unity. You know, unity can't keep together unity. Uh, the triggers ignite uh, over the gun line like biscuit in life. I liked it. Then he started talking about the Mac, Ice, the All Lives Matter. The, he had a fire Mac life, all Mac life, all my, uh, all, he talking about that, um, had Ice taking that nasty picture with, uh, with China Mac, the All Lives Matter joint. I thought it was nasty. Um, I'm all out, I'm all about money bag till Megan shot up till I till I got up Megan. He had a fire line about that. Uh overall first round was pretty cool. I had Rum Nitty winning the first. Second round, Rum Nitty, uh he said hard to sell. We had we had dope, we had hard to sell like a salvage title. Cause selling a salvage title is hard as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Um he said dome shot. We smoked the op out of wood blunt. He said this. We'll get the booming like court soon as I point him out. This will get the booming in court soon as I point him out. He has some fire for court flips. Uh, fucking with the kid is suicide. You ever seen a tech nine before court? This nigga was bugging, yo. Oh my goodness. The goat bag, Jim Brown. Uh, he said, you hear, you hear a whistle that I walk off court like the fifth foul. Like he was just going on. He was just going in. Like he was just going. He was going in. Like it was crazy. Like crazy, 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 crazy. He was bucking. Um, he said, uh, then Cortez comes out his second round. Uh, Bodega got a lot in store. You know what I'm saying? Bodegas do have a lot in store. Bodegas be booming. Uh, but then he got a little choppy. Like his flow, his, his flow started getting choppy. Like it was a little skippy blippy, but he caught it back. Uh, uh, what he said, all the West, the hood still rock with the Cortez. He said, if rum in a barrel, he won't age. Then he had a fire line. Prohibition, I put a ban on hustle and rum. He said, I put a ban on hustle and rum. You know, I put a ban on hustle, a ban on rum. That was dope. Uh, this forget everything without looking at his phone. The forget everything without looking at the phone. Because you know when niggas forget shit, they look at the phone. Um, he said, Nitty comes out. You won't be able to build with this little L. It's an Allen wrench. You know how hard it is. It'd be hard to build shit with an Allen wrench. I ain't going to hold you. Uh, switchblade, switchblade, spike court side like a Knicks game. That was fire. Switchblades kept raw side like a Knicks game. He had punches back to back to back. Uh, he said, I got this one, two that's loud as an avocado countdown. You know, I've got one, two. That was fire. Uh, that little bitch of, he said, that little bit of respect you get is because you math, bitch. Fire. Then his most fire line in the whole third. Um, you soft core, you just don't show it on cam. Cause you know soft core, you don't show it on cam. This nigga was wild. That the his his third, he was uh I ain't gonna ask him when he started rapping like that. That's disrespectful. We know Nitty been punching like that. Cortez comes out in his third round, um holding your chest blow through central air. Uh your whole delivery just shows you shaky with the gun. Uh you be the first nigga swinging, Jackie Rob. Uh the trolley train, I still gotta track down Av. Then he had another bar where he said, uh, I'm in Tucson, I go Tucson, bury him next to with two sons, who gonna find the body is two sons. Core was wigging, I ain't gonna hold you, but um, I got Rum Nitty winning this battle. They asked Cortez after the battle who won. Cortez also said Rum Nitty, so I don't feel bad picking Rum Nitty because you picked him too, so it is what it is. But Rum Nitty won. Um, I feel like Cortez might have got around, but Rum Nitty clearly got around. Got two of them things. He clearly got two of them things. Like he was snapping. He was back in that Rum Nitty bag that we know, love, and respect. And he said, uh, he said something about uh, what did he say? He said something about uh, you, 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 you took conceited or something like that. But I feel like you can't really compare Rum Nitty to conceited because Rum Nitty is better than conceited at this point, especially at this point. Rum Nitty is better than conceited. Um, 
Overall, cool event. It was quick. That was the best thing about it. Uh, it started at 4. It is now 5.46 and my recap is done. So that's how you know it was quick. I love that. That's the one thing I will say about the caffeine. Them, them, them white folks don't play with their time. They don't be, we ain't got to watch I'm Ignorant 40 times. We ain't got to watch all these battle rappers videos and shit. We ain't got to wait for niggas to get on stage. They get right through it. So smack all y'all niggas. I appreciate the, 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 the quickness and expeditiousness of this event. And um, salute to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all spend time with y'all families. RightScanClothing.com. Make sure you get the merchandise. You heard me right. Um, before this thing jam, let me get off this cam and get back with the fam. Rah!